Well, hello, my friends. Welcome back for more I Would Camp That. Uh, recently on our channel, I announced that I'd taken a new position for work. Uh, I'm commuting back and forth. Uh, it's four on, four off. So I come out to the town that I'm working in. We haven't found a place out here yet. And then I go back to where Rita and I are currently living. Now, it's a town in Northern Alberta. This is my second set on the new job. I just finished day one of four today. I tried to get some footage the last set, um, just adjusting to the new job and everything. And with all the changes and stuff, I was pretty tired and not really much energy for recording. So I basically just decided, okay, you know what, just get through the first set, get home. I was pretty tired when I got home too. Um, I'm just wrapped up day one. I'm uh, feeling very energetic. So I think what we're gonna do is, uh, one of my colleagues I was working with um, when we had some downtime today, he, um, he's, he's a camper himself as well too. So he kind of showed me some areas to check out. Uh, this part of Alberta is a complete mystery to me. So lots of new stuff to check out. Um, we don't have a lot of daylight. We are getting into fall. The uh, job that I work at, I work uh, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. So, and I've also been showering at work too. So not a crazy amount of time. So I'm just gonna quit yakking. Let's hit the road and uh, see what we can find. Wow, isn't this a little slice of heaven? Huge thanks to my new coworker for uh, suggesting this to me. This is amazing. I am living part-time out of my truck right now. <laughs> Once Rita and I are settled out here, I am looking forward to just having some days to just get out here and explore. I, I love camping. Uh, Duh, I, anybody who watches our channel knows that, but uh, sometimes going out and exploring and just sussing out other potential places to camp and explore is just as fun. So this spot here is actually an old abandoned ferry dock. So, oh, we can see some people getting into their camper there and I'm just standing here being a creep. But yeah, this is just beautiful. And one of the great things about uh, this area, having lived in Southern Alberta for quite a while, is there's virtually no wind. So that's going to make my uh, editing pursuits a lot less painful. Now this place is adjacent to a private campground. However, it doesn't appear to be part of the campground. I've seen no prohibition signs whatsoever. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say that this is fair game. Beautiful spot. I love that we're getting into fall. I've said before, I think fall is probably my favorite time to camp. The nights are getting cooler. I've been getting quite a bit of rain as well too. And the uh, bug situation is uh, minimal to manageable. I'm just, I'm just taking this all in right now. Last set, like I said, I just didn't have a lot of energy, just everything, you know, adjusting to the new job and the new normal and everything but I am absolutely loving living part-time out of my truck and uh, I feel great. I'm super thankful for this new job. I'm just super thankful for all the blessings in my life and uh, I'm thankful I get to share it with you folks. A few things to go over. 
One, the rig is a mess. That didn't take long. I, I like to think it's a manageable mess, but it is a mess. Got the jackery in its usual spot. We're sitting at, not sure if you can see that there. We're sitting at about 82%. And I've uh, got it, still got it plugged into the truck via 12 volt. And I do have the fridge, one of the camera batteries. And uh, yeah, the also my phone cord as well too. And we've got the fridge itself in the back. I am loving this bench that we built. No issues with it so far. And hopefully it stays that way. We've, this is usually the target temperature I go for is about 22 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, this fridge does not convert to Celsius, so I have to do that myself. And uh, basically just got a whole bunch of prep meals. Currently on a nutrition plan right now. So I've been prepping a lot of meals. My nutrition coach has me uh, eating basically so many macros per day. So I have to get like so many palm, like palm measurements of protein, vegetables, carbohydrates, a little bit of healthy fats in there too. And honestly, with all the rain we've had, it's it's been a blessing because I do like popping the tailgate and cooking. I am planning to do some more of that this week. But honestly, like having those pre-packaged meals is fantastic because last set I was here, it was raining nonstop. So being able to just pull a meal out of the fridge, uh, no real way to heat it up unless I'm at work with a microwave. But uh, I definitely do not have a microwave in my truck. Wouldn't that be, wouldn't that be uh, a luxury? But uh, it's nice to have those prepackaged meals because I can literally just pull it out, eat it, done. One cool thing I did while I was at work too. Um, so it's we've been getting a lot of rain, as I said before. But earlier today, it got up to about 21 degrees Celsius, pretty sunny, pretty muggy. So what I ended up doing, uh, just to help with my fridge is when I checked on the fridge, uh, cause there's times where I get the opportunity to come out and, you know, check on my truck, make sure everything's okay. The top of my fridge was just getting the sun coming right through the glass there and just beating down on it. And then the fridge has to work harder because it's getting heated up, which means more of a drain on your, uh, Jackery or whatever kind of battery you use. So what I ended up doing is just taking this really long towel, and just flipping it up on the window here just to help block the sun from coming in. Yes, I could have moved my truck and tried to get the fridge out of the sun, but this worked really nice in uh, helping to cool it down and just keep the sun out. I do eventually want to get some kind of panels to put in the back windows here for um, concealment, but also for heat control too. And another thing I like that we're getting into autumn as well, too, is with it getting cooler, like it's already cooling down quite a bit. Um, the fridge doesn't have to work that hard. It's great. So my uh, battery, my Jackery up front um, doesn't drain as quickly as I thought it would, which is great. And it looks like there's a small wood pile over here. And of course, garbage, because some people are just pigs. And a little fire pit, too. That's cool. I'm definitely not planning to do any kind of a fire. I do have to be to bed early as well, too. And I, like I said before, I do have my prepackaged meals. So for dinner tonight, we've got this uh, cold chili that I had in the fridge. Uh, been trying to avoid eating this one at work just because, it, well, it's chili. It's messy. Um, so it's got some ground beef in there, uh, ground venison, and chickpeas. And uh, I think diced tomatoes, beans, and Rita made it for me. So thanks so much, babe. And to make sure that I get my last little bit of protein in, I'm going to be having a couple of hard-boiled eggs as well, too. And I've also got to make sure I pound back some water. My nutrition coach has me drinking about, shooting for about 3.5 liters of water a day. And I've been really rocking that this last week. So I want to keep that streak going. Well, I'm in the rig. It's uh, cooled down a lot more. It's dark out now. Uh, always amazes me how well the back of the truck holds heat. Because, yeah, it's nice and nice and cozy back here. Not quite room temperature, but uh, pretty close. 
So I will get a window cracked for condensation as it is getting cooler. We are starting to get that old problem of condensation again. And I uh, just got to organize a couple of things for tomorrow. I feel like any semblance of organizing on this trip is a losing battle. So basically Rita's side of the bed. It's a good thing Rita isn't here. Yeah, just living out of suitcases. Got my go bag. I've got my laptop here as well, too, just in case I want to do some editing. And that'll be good when we're switching over for that uh, night shift as well, too. Good morning, everyone. It's about 5 to 6 in the morning. I let myself sleep in a little bit. Stayed nice and warm. Still haven't had to use my sleeping bag or anything. Just use the one moderately thick blanket. And it looks like we didn't get any rain at all last night for a change. And I did keep the window open quite a bit. And yeah, no condensation whatsoever. That's always good. All right, well, I'm going to get my shoes on and head into town here. It's about 15 minutes to get to my workplace from here but I'm going to say probably 20 minutes just because I'm going to be taking it a bit slow. Quite a bit of wildlife on this road out here, so don't want to uh, have that kind of a start to my morning. Anyways, I will follow up with all you folks later today. I mean, I guess it depends what kind of day I have at work. Hopefully I don't end up having to stay late or anything, but uh, in any case, I will endeavor to chat with you all later tonight.